Welcome to the Mank Entrepreneur YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about being open to opportunities. Now, I get this quite often, and you probably get it too, where people say, oh, you're so lucky. You know, you're lucky to be able to do the job that you do and lead the life that you live. It's, you're really lucky. And you sort of nod and smile and go, well, are you little? Because it isn't luck. <laughs> you know, they don't see the, the four years of hard work and the risks that you take along the way. They just see the end product, which by no means is the finish line, but it's reasonable. You know, it's something that, you know, is pretty, you know, if you can get to a place where you're stable and things are going well and bills are paid and you can still not have to work nine while five in an office, then to a lot of people, you're doing pretty well. But it's not lucky. You know, you make your own luck largely. And sure, there, there's elements that you could say are lucky, you know, being in the right place at the right time. And But it's not all luck. As the big picture goes, it's largely hard work. And a little bit of luck along the way is not a bad thing. Now, this brings me on to this week. Now, for anyone who missed the video on Monday, bing, there, about um, uh, Mondays don't suck, and I tell you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing through the week. And this week was largely going to be a strategizing week in the office, um, planning for things for next year. Nothing too crazy was happening this week. And then I had tonsillitis, which you know, I've still got it a little bit, but I'm much better than I was. And then yesterday I get a phone call and it now turns out that an opportunity presented itself, which has resulted in me going down to London on Friday to sit in a meeting with one of the largest companies in the world um, to discuss their, the e-commerce journey for a customer. And again, this is something which I'm very comfortable in. They actually, when they rang, they were saying how, you know, we I'd be perfect for this, blah, 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 innovator in the field and really appreciate your opinion. Uh, and, it, you know, they were very nice. And it just so happened on Friday, I wasn't doing that much. There was nothing concrete in the diary. I was just going to be here working on the business stuff. And you, you sort of think and go, well, I've got nothing to lose. This could be a fantastic opportunity for uh, me to really get, uh, to create a new partnership within the business with a huge, huge business with a massive audience. And if I can help them, in turn, they will help me. And we have a business relationship and it's all really nice. And like I said, the, the actual um, potential of this meeting is huge. Obviously, you don't want to get too caught up in what it could lead to. You've got to keep grounded. But it wasn't it wasn't lucky. It was an opportunity. And that's the difference is if that email comes into your inbox and you immediately discard it, you don't read it, you don't have time for it, or you get a phone call and it's not a number you recognize and you let it go unanswered, and maybe the guy leaves a voicemail, maybe he doesn't. Maybe in his voicemail he's not super clear in what it is that he he wants from you or what you know wants to talk about. And you never get back to him or her. That is not unlucky. That's just not being open to opportunities. Because you never know what opportunities are going to present themselves and when. They come in a multitude of different disguises and it's up to you as the entrepreneur as the business person to always be open to the potential of what that could bring and like I said I could go down to London on Friday have a great meeting and that's it nothing else comes from it have I wasted my time not at all I've gone to talk what I know best with another bunch of people and hopefully to tell them about what I know and, and help them. That's not way I love doing that. That's why I run this channel. Um, but the potential of what it could potentially lead to in the future is massive. And I would be a fool, I'd be a terrible entrepreneur if I let that one go. 
So this video is all about being open to opportunities that present themselves. And don't be that guy who, oh, I never answer numbers that I don't know, or oh, I if you I I never check my emails, or I don't have an assistant checking my emails and flagging ones that are important to me. It was actually my assistant, or one of my assistants, who flagged the first email to me, and then. Uh, had passed on my details, we might say so, and then I got the call. So, again, massive hat tip to uh, H, did a great job there um, finding this email. And it has led to what could potentially be a great opportunity. And, and this isn't me bragging, this is me trying to tell you, be open to opportunities that present themselves. Because this could be the difference between that huge contract that could be a huge supplier deal waiting to give you exclusivity on a product. It could be this celebrity endorsement, this agency who want to work with you on whatever it is that you're doing. Always be open to opportunities. There is a caveat. If it's a Ugandan prince offering you 20 million Ugandan dollars, chances are, no, don't, won't bother. You know, there is still the element of if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. But on the flip side, other opportunities will present themselves. And as an entrepreneur, it is up to you to leave yourself open to them because you never know what it could lead to. So that said, on Friday, I will take the cameras with me, hopefully document the journey a little bit about what's going on. And I can't, obviously, you've got to be careful with how much I give away. But you'll see firsthand what my Friday will look like. And also Friday, I'm going to meet up with an old friend of mine down in London. And we'll get to have a catch up as well, which is super cool. He's based down in London. I'm up here in Manchester. We don't get to meet each other very much. So that'll be great too. It's, a, again, all about managing time and being open to opportunities. So with that said, I will leave that video here. If you have found it useful, please leave me a like rating down below and subscribe if you are new. I do try and get new content out every day. And with that said, I'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next video.